Hi, my name is Lee DeAnda, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the formula for chain rule. Chain rule is used when you have a composite function. So if you see right here, we have the g function, which is inside the f of x function. And when you take the derivative of this, you're basically going to do the derivative of the outside with the same inside times the derivative of the inside. So for example, let's say f of x is equivalent to x to the fourth. And let's say g of x is equivalent to x squared plus 3x. And if I was to make a composite function, so I have the x squared plus 3x inside dx to the fourth function. And so in using chain rule, I'm going to start by taking the derivative of the outside. So it's going to be four times the same inside to the third power. So the same inside, so the x squared plus 3x stays the same. And then the derivative of the inside would be a 2x plus 3. Okay, let's take a look at another form of chain rule. Sometimes it's written as df dt is equal to df dx times dx dt. Let's say we have f of x equal to x to the fourth. And let's say x of t is equal to sine of t. The equivalent composite function f of t would be equal to sine of t raised to the fourth. And so if I find the derivative of f with respect to x, That would be 4x cubed. And then if I find the derivative of x with respect to t, that would be cosine of t. And so therefore, the derivative of f with respect to t would just be multiplying those two, it would be 4x cubed times cosine of t, and since x represents um, the cosine function, sorry, the sine function, and that's four times sine of t to the third power times cosine of t. So all I did there was replace this x, which is what x is, so x is the sine function, so that went into x right here, and so that's how we got this. Okay, that was just a quick introduction on some alternative notation using chain rule. Let me know if that helps.